warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide solely non-medical care for our clients of the same quality that we would provide that care for a loved one. Last Thursday was National Refreshment Day, which was created to bring attention to the importance of keeping our bodies hydrated, especially during the heat wave that we've been experiencing. In a study published in the Journal of American Geriatric Society, it was found that dehydration is associated with an increased risk of falls and hospitalizations among our older adult population. Most seniors don't drink enough, often because of bladder incontinence or poor mobility that make getting up and into the bathroom more challenging. In other cases, someone might not like the taste of plain water. As we age, our bodies change, leaving us with less water in the body. We may also have certain medications that can cause an increase in dehydration. A study from the University of California, Los Angeles School of Nursing found that almost 40% of seniors may be experiencing chronic dehydration. This can lead to a number of health challenges like UTIs, heat stroke, and kidney failure. It also decreases the body's ability to fight off infection or recover from illness. Some signs that you want to watch out for of dehydration include dark colored urine, increased fatigue or weakness, muscle cramps, and confusion or poor cognitive function. It seems like everywhere we look, there's a push for large travel bottles that help to keep the -the on-the-go person well hydrated throughout the day. For someone elderly, a 24 or a 40 ounce water bottle can be intimidating, so try starting out with small cups of water, maybe four to six ounces. You can also try keeping a supply of mini water bottles throughout your loved one's home to eliminate the excuse of not being able to make it to the kitchen for water. Drinking the same thing day in and day out can also be boring, which is where flavored water can come in handy. Adding a lemon or cucumber to a large water pitcher might encourage your loved one to drink more throughout the day because of that added flavor. You can also try low sugar sports drinks, but coffees and teas should be avoided or limited because they can dehydrate the body. If your loved one is still resistant to increasing their fluid intake, you can pick water-rich foods like cucumbers, watermelon, or strawberries. These are a refreshing snack during the warm summer months while still adding water to the body in a clever way. In the cold weather, you can try soups or broths to stay hydrated while adding some flavor. Just be careful to watch the sodium content um, in these items. Remember to stay hydrated this summer, and if your loved one needs more supervision than family can provide, make sure to give Always Best Care a call at 860-533-9343 to learn how a care partner can help in keeping your loved one safe and hydrated. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Always Best Care has been providing solely non-medical in-home care since 2009. If you're interested in learning more about our services or our assisted living selection services, please give us a call at 860-533-9343 or you can visit our website at www.abccentralct.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram too so that we can show you how better options for senior living are a priority.